after the attack. Hello everyone and welcome back to Android 800 Extreme. Just in time for another ship under attack message. Let's just see what that is. Oh, my schooner that is somehow still alive here in the new world. Exploring the islands. We found another island from Willy Wibble Sock. That name just ship never gets attack. old. Um, let's just still try to get with the scooter down there somewhere. Who's, by the way, attacking me? Is it? Oh, okay. It's Princess Ching. Right, it's not Sean Lafortune. Um, he's got another island. Something that we really don't um, care about that much. Oh, look at Willy. He's really strong. Willy, what is going on with you? He's really attacking right now and taking most likely over this island here of Bente. No problem, Willy. Together we can crush all of them, I guess. Um, this island here, Sweet Home. Yeah, we could take it once again. Though I have no idea how this would work with the shares then. Um, but it still might po be possible. Let's actually go ahead now and uh, build the Dockland. So this would be my major goal. This is an endless ride, right? So we have... I have no idea how we can fix this one. Let's get rid of two more farmers and build yet another police station. In this area. So tight here, but it's still workable. It's insane, really. This ride just won't go. And I just love how dynamic this game is on that difficulty. How much is going on in the world um, at this island? Is he taking it over or only the shares? He's only taking the shares. So just let I did to boost your A income, right? Also, what is on the way is my, my ships here still. Delivering those very high quality and high valuable items. At the same time, someone is attacking the island of Willy, but it's just one ship, so it's not a big deal. And I would really like to go now for the bricks. Um, Yeah, and about the coffee. Still no idea how we could get more coffee in. So this island doesn't have coffee. Bentis Island has coffee. Um, That might be an option. We could, we could break the defense here. Or what I could also try is I could take over this island by, by shares, right? So those shares are not that expensive. Um, but it would take a long time. It would really take a long time. There is another coffee island. Yeah, defenses are tight, but they're not impossible. It's a Princess Ching's island. There is another island down there. Can we purchase another ship? We can't, unfortunately. We still have one clipper available. I could I could risk um, sacrificing this one. We could actually do this. We don't need this clipper here for the moment. Let's get over there. And then over here and over here and let's just try and find some island that might be suitable right so this one is also going away no idea if she's already seen that clipper and is on the way now it looks like it right like she's chasing it seems like she's actually really chasing this clipper now that just left my harbor we might yeah doesn't matter if I lose it. We can just rebuild more clippers. Clippers are so cheap. Let's build two more. I've already got another one there. And also, let's put another a war. Oh, wait a second. We can build this one right here. The fire left ruins behind. Okay, the fire is gone, but we still have all of these rides there. Nothing I can do about that. We have the 61 tons of bricks. Let's go ahead and build the Docklands. There we have it. Once again, finally. The Docklands are going to help us a bit. I'm not going to use it as extensively in my one island challenge, as I said, because that is just way too much. But it's still a part of the game, and it's still fine to use it, in, in this opinion, to save some space, for example. So we do have the grain, uh, for example, that we could um, import now with the Docklands, and we could save, yeah, some space um, that we no longer need. The same goes with the potatoes, then. I think we could still build one... Export office. Oh, Benta and Bully are at peace now. So no more fighting. Um, and yes, we could just have this one beside it then. Right? So one of these export offices um, for another trade contract. And let's just see what we could now use here. I think, well, soap usually goes well. We don't really have a surplus of anything major though. Right, so that is that is a big of, a bit of a problem. Let's go with bread for now, and instead of bread, let's go with the the grain Epidemic or the potatoes. Yeah, city. let's go with potatoes. It's just way more valuable. One hundred bread for now. That's a bit of potatoes. How many potatoes do we consume right now? Three. Ugh, get your dirty oh, we actually have a surplus as well. We would need around I think twenty four per minute Worth at this moment. Shortage. 
23 is the current uh, demand that we have for the potato. That means, well, I do actually need yeah more than 400 over the course of 20 minutes. So I can't get rid of all of them yet. Oh my goodness. We have a real... <laughs> At the same time, all right, we have the plague as well. Now happening. And I can't get rid of any of these buildings because of riots and stuff. That's incredible. This one we can get rid of. And let's try and squeeze in a hospital here as well. We already have a hospital over there, and now we have one here, but that's insane. I'm just loosening the whole north of my city at the moment. Rides, fire, and the plague. We need more farm hands. Resulting in a terrible, terrible farmer shortage. Let's try to compensate this. By building another district here. Right, so we still have some room. Let's use this one quickly to get some farmers on board. Oopsie. And that's it. There we have another street. Those guys are going to have a beautiful view over everything. Right, so, and there we actually have still the, the triple road, right? This triple road, however, is not that important because we have the triple road here and there's the oil. So the train goes through that one anyway to the harp area and here also up there now north and over here to this district there. So that's fine. We don't need that one. Those guys are here. Let's just... Yep, here we do need a double road then. So this one is where the train... Or triple road, actually. Is where the train is coming through. Um, and then we can just have more houses. Ship it's not a very nice district, though. All right. Once again, those oil patches are really in a terrible position here. I will need to build two of them, right? So one oil refinery here somewhere. Let's just see how we can do this. Like that, I guess. There we have it, number one. And the second one I will have for those two up here. A competitor's island withstood right, attack. so those two are needed. Um, And then I will have the train going through here. So this will stay empty for now. So that is fine, right? So that we have those guys just for later. Under attack. One major problem is out here at sea, what we can see right now, Bente now has the big battleships, right? So they are really, really powerful. As always, she's ahead of us a bit uh, when it comes to military advancement. Look at the damage it's doing to one ship. Um, and those guys are terrible when it comes to fighting with my older versions. Let's just see and, uh, and try to get this one down with my full force here. That might, that might be possible. Also, my ships down here at Archie have arrived, bringing us in a lot of cash. Let's get those ships down here again. Alright, it's still coming towards us. What a ship, really. Those are massive and it's still going to take us quite some time to achieve that. Um, can we import Nitra at some point? Cement is possible. And there's Nitro. We need to export 2,160 goods Shift though before we can attack. make this work. Alright, but it is possible. Fleet ready. And just look at the amount of damage it takes. That's actually pretty cheating. Yep. It's not going down. What is going on here? This is insane. It's barely going down. All right, I think it's going for my clipper. And speaking about clippers, I need to check real quick. Where's my clipper down here? All right, it's going down now, but it has discovered nothing really. 
There's no big islands over here anywhere that we could use for the coffee. It's really bad. This is even worse. It's really going for my clipper. Okay, there should still be more coming. I mean, look at how strong just one is. It's incredible. It destroyed my clipper. I need them. I need them as soon as possible. Where's the other ones coming? They take their time over there. The worst thing is, it's probably not going down, right? Because it's not depending on the wind. So it could just back off again, like now. And we can just only hope that we can take it down, really. But she's built one, she will build more. And I wonder where the other ones are. Yeah, this one is going down, though. So that was a bad mistake on her part. But it shows us the strength of these ships, right? Boom. And lots of loot. Oh my goodness. Let's just check this one out. Some sails. Nothing that we would re really need in that case. Another special item. Lots of special items here. Alright. And my fleet is together again. Combined. Let's get this one back to repair. And I've lost a clipper on one of my trade routes. Let's just go with another clipper in its stead. Alright, I'm a bit afraid here what's coming right now. Uh, we do need more. What I do need is I do need another export office now. Right, so we do need to get this, the trade volume up. So I'm already going with the bread here. Uh, we would have work clothes possible. Yeah, work clothes is possible. And we can use this for the grain. Ah, that's a very bad trade-off, though. That would be one-to-one -one with the pig hats. That's fine. Let's go with a 200 workload there and 100 on the bread. Right, so that can still work. And with the more piggy hats, we can produce more... Um, more sausages and also I would like to get more rendering works and another soap factory up and running them because we get more piggies in now and in turn I can sell them again or export them again. The big rides are it seems over for now the plague is still raging. Let's just repair all of the farmer houses though. Heroes. And yes I truly hate it when you want to repair a ruin you press shift um, to repair it what it's doing instead is it's upgrading all of the farmers to workers and that's just what happened so I had to manually um, degrade some of them again really quickly there is also no mass button for this I think it would also not make a lot of sense really um, but still I need to manually uh, reduce some of them back again to their current state um, 100 farmers are still missing where are they missing? Well, basically here in those ruins. I still need to wait a bit. I think happiness is still not high enough to mobilize. Nope, nothing I can do there for now. The only thing I can push is my export trade volumes. So um, I do have lots of flour actually and grain. So I can just push more bread production, which is important to export it. Uh, we still have some bakeries here and those require workers. Workers we have a lot. So this doesn't really matter, right? Let's go for four more um, bakeries here and by the way I have lots of money and yes I would like to purchase another Bento share here that's more money coming in again 1300 as share value uh, Willy is um, a bit bad right now so he's losing share value Ching is pretty strong 500,000 though is quite a lot another ship is coming out oh boy we are going to need so many of them this one and this one is still being repaired the clippers are doing fine again. I'm really, really afraid right now of these battleships, though. He's not got another one at the moment. We still have some time. We need to focus right now on the nitro. Where do we get nitro from? So I, I think we had one right in front of us. There it is. Oh, up here in Hillmont, we also have nitro. How very good. How very convenient. We can do this. And I'm going to do this. Um, there we still have some harbor area, right? So for nitro, we do need a harbor area. Um, and we have the Solpita works here. 
So all I need really is a, a warehouse up there. We still have the road connection. That usually is here all for the hops plantations. We, by the way, still have some room for hops. Um, and here I can have now some nitro, right? Like four, five of them would work perfectly fine. Each one of them produces every two minutes, so they are rather on the slow side. The problem, though, with that is that, well, we do need the worker workforce for that. So workers we don't have. We have two work of uh, 50 workers. I do need a commute pier as well. And because of the defenses, I can't build nitro here. Right, and nitro is actually rather expensive. The the times. Newspaper guy. Um, something of that and I, I, I a bit more happiness, but not much more. Else. We cannot afford that much more. Our influence is really limited. I do need the commute pier. There is no way around that. Commute pier is really expensive though and does require the concrete. Reinforced concrete. So... Oh, that's going to be... That's going to be messy. Could we do it instead of a fisherman? Nope. That's also not possible. It really needs to be here. So what we need here is we would need to get rid of one of them. Of these cannon towers. Or I just have it here. But then again I sacrifice a slot for my Soul Peter works. Decisions. Once again, decisions. 25 workers. So with 100 workers we could actually get 4 of them working. That is possible. We could upgrade a few uh, farmers. Right? Space is not something we have that much here, but it could be possible, really, to upgrade a three of them if I give them work clothes. I think this would be cheaper overall. We could try this. Let's get the fisherman back to work. And let's just go for a clipper. Still have one more brewery here that I would like to also build. We have enough mold for all of that. Now, one problem is the uh, the bricks that we have at the moment. That's not enough. It's just taking a long time for those bricks to yeah replenish. So what we could do is, and we are going to do this, let's just purchase one of these clippers up here. There's nothing close by. Viper, that's a really cool name for a clipper. Let's get this one and just purchase all of the 150 bricks. Right, with that we can speed it up a bit and let's get this one to Hillmont over there um, to quickly build those Saltpeter works. Also the workload is on its way and then we can upgrade a few farmers there. We just really need a, a few of them, right? While that is happening, also uh, Pierre is, or uh, Tobias, sorry, Tobias is arriving. There he is, delivering us the first resources that we need and that is potato and that is also the, the pickets, right? So we, with that, we can continue expanding our little production that we have for the, the soaps, basically. So another soap factory now, uh, since we have the resources on that side as well. With the additional grain coming in then as well, we might soon go for another flour mill. So we have a bit of room up here. And we can also get rid of some of those farms then. All right, once again, there is some skirmishes out here. I've lost another one of my clippers rather quickly, but my main fleet should be on its way right now. This one is going down, though, right? And there's lots of Princess Ching ships. She's got four warships right now. And another battle cruiser. This one is a normal battle cruiser, though, so it's not that difficult or don't, not that dangerous. Ah, uh, look at that. How many ships? We should decimate them. I think this one already saw now what's going to happen there. Nope, not really. Let's attack. It's unfortunately still able to destroy it. Oh, very unfortunate. But it's also going down in the process. Very good. Um, and let's let's march down on this island here and let's take it over. We need to hurt Bantida somehow. She's getting a bit too strong, I think, especially with her battle cruisers. I'm going to use my main fleet now, moving into this harbor area there, taking out this island completely. Also, both of my clippers have arrived, so let's just unload all the resources. Very good. The workload is now coming in, and that means that soon we'll be able to upgrade a, some, a few of them to the next level. Here, let's have the fire station just as a security measure, as always. 
And since we are now going for the advanced weapons soon, um, another thing, I will still need the reinforced concrete though. So for that, I don't have that many options, right? This really is not possible that much. Down here in Gorgino, which still strangely enough belongs to us, we could have now at least one limestone quarry over there. Or I get the cement. From here. Work clothes. I need to... Um... Oh yeah. Okay. This is... It could be any item really. But work clothes is the one that we are looking for here. So I need a high volume on this one. Um, in order to be able to, to sell it. And you know. Get the cement unlocked. That is my goal right now. Because we don't have enough cement for a decent reinforced concrete production. So I will need to get cement from the docklands. And that is the work clothes that is working here. In the back. I could still go for this one, though. Let's take one of my clippers. It's still a bit of limestone, so let's just go for it. My fleet is ready. Meantime, let's move in. Ready for a challenge. And let's get some workload for those people here in Gorgino. Um, yeah, once again, bricks. I don't have a whole lot of you. And some steel beams. What else do we need for the reinforced Ship concrete? Under attack. windows still need some windows there with us as well let's get this one down at the same time we're now finally taking over sweet home this time no shares this time nothing can save you and also one of your battleships will not help two of them might help two of them might actually destroy my fleet but that's why we need to hurry up There's no big help coming at the moment. That's good. This one is also going down. The morale, though, is probably still not really crumbling on that side. So we might need to go to the other side as well. Ah, uh, it's looking actually pretty good. Yes, we are able to take over Sweet Home, and we're doing this one completely. So everything is being erased. Um, that's hurting her. <laughs> that's definitely going to hurt her. Let's take over the items, and also, yes, quite some nice items there for the Pentacle Garden, for the Town Hall. Happiness plus 12. This is not so bad. Some of them I might use. Oh, lots of brass. This is really good. Brass is very, very valuable. Some beer. All right. Some steel that we find here. And more beer. Now let's get all of this over to my main island once again. This island is now safe anyway for 30 minutes. Um, I still... I don't think we have a real use for this one. Is out of control. Um, we could have the grain over there actually. And save it for the work. Yep. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get timber over there. And build up another village. Eh... Uh, now nah, that's not going to work. Sorry, why? Because I can't build uh, defenses anymore. We are totally empty on the influence, and defenses cost influence. I don't have that. I can't build up more cannons for now. What I can do is upgrade more buildings, more artisans to engineers. Getting a bit of that influence might still help, so let's upgrade those guys there. At the same time, though, of course, my bricks are being depleted. I can't keep up that forever. My clipper is still on the way, and then we can build up our limestone quarry there. We need to hurry up there. I need to get my battleships out. She already has the first one. That was a warning, and there's more to come. Stay tuned. Ship under attack. 